Hello everybody and welcome back to the month of Halloween. That's right, my name is Amanda and I'm back with another episode of AGP. And with Halloween fast approaching, and I haven't really dug into really a lot of movies and stuff. And you know I've already stopped piled up on my full size candy bars because yes, I'm that type of person. And full size bones for the dog. Today, I want to take you and my co-host on a trip to the past, to my childhood, way, way back into the incredible 1980s and the dark fantasy movies that reside within there. Because these movies are actually perfect for Halloween. We're talking about movies like Labyrinth, The Secret of Nim, The Dark Crystal, The Last Unicorn, Return to Oz, and many more. So to join me on this wonderful adventure, let's introduce my right hand and the lady who thinks that I'm nothing but a jack-in-a-box on certain roller coaster rides, Cat I will let you tell that story before we get started. That I is quite that. all right. I don't care. <laughs> it is really worth it. And the man who's going, I mean, it's a jack in a box. That's all right. I'm a banana. Dad man walking 55. Hello. How are you tonight? Good to see you two lovely, beautiful ladies. I am blessed to be between you two ladies tonight. I'm honored. We don't pay him enough to say that. You're so sweet. Oh, I mean it. I play More him as time much as we're going to pay him. Oh, thank you. I look forward to it. Because <laughs> that, I'm going to triple the pay that I'm giving you right now for being on the show. Yeah. All right. Well, you're generous. <laughs> you're very generous, Amanda. I know. Um, I never cease to amaze myself. Oh, wow, wow, wow. My heart will go down. Oh, my God. That's my leg. I need the skin there. Oh, what? Your dog? Fizz gig? Ow. Mm -hmm. It's like full contact streaming. Can I get to her before? I, will it turn me off? Let me see. If it turns you off, I'll wait for you to come back. Oh my god, I think she ripped skin. Yeah, that looked like it hurt that time. Oh, it hurt a lot. Come here. Come here. Oh, you care. There it is. There it is. You've gotten really bad about this, young lady. Really, she was really up there, like, that. knocking on your arm when you first started. Yeah, well, she <laughs> crawled down, went onto this side, and because um, I'm having ankle issues, my legs are up on a footstool right now, she just went at, like, the meatiest part of my thigh, like, damn. She knows you hit him. Take him down at the knees. All right, so before we get started, Cassie and I went to King's Island. Yeah. Ooh, yay. <laughs> so we got, now we got on a ride. Now, before she explains what she got to see on this ride, let me explain <laughs> that first I tested the chair. Then I got in the chair and I was like, push it, push it all the way in. It was nice and tight all when we the started the ride. <laughs> we go up the hill. We go down the first hill and Cassie, take it away. Well, I didn't notice until at least the second or third time. Because the first hill, of course, I'm paying attention to this really deep dive. Diving back is an amazing roller coaster, and it has a really steep hill. But there are a bunch of little hills after that, little tiny ones, like little bumps of hills. And all I see out of the corner of my peripheral, and I'm so happy I have good peripheral, even though I have crappy eyesight, but she was right there, so I could see her. I just see this white sweater go up like three inches. Every little <laughs> This is me on the ride. Wee! Wee! Literally the three or four time, Dad, I could not breathe. I was laughing so hard because there's a kid in front of us that went off and all these homes. And he's not moving. And then here's Amanda this who is, is so short and all of a sudden she's my height. And then she's short. And then she's my height. <laughs> There's this dude in the back going, put your hands up or else you're a pussy. I'm a goddamn pussy. I'm holding on for dear goddamn life. Oh my God. I thought I wouldn't be able to put my hands up, but I couldn't stop clutching my freaking, like, <laughs> clutching so fucking hard. I'm kidding. Oh my God. Wow. Wait, no, I'm sitting, if I'm in the chair, I'm going to push right now. Every time we hit a hill, I went at least this far up. And I'm like... <laughs> I've got my foot as clamped as I can around <laughs> something, my other foot just holding on to dear life, and my two hands on the bar like this. I'm a goddamn pussy. I'm not going to fuck because this little scary is like, oh. <laughs> I can't explain to you how funny she this is. She's laughing, making fun of this, so I'm just like, I just want to sit the fuck down. <laughs> At this point, the two people in front of us are laughing. Fucking little six-year-old kid sitting there like, I'm in the he's, seat. He's got no problems. 
<laughs> You're like, I want to go to Fiji. Pound fat bitch gets yeeted out of the sea. None of the other <laughs> coasters did this like this to her. I don't know what it was about that coaster specifically. It just did um, not like Amanda. Uh, <laughs> it's like, I'm going to inject her. Get the fuck off. Get the fuck off. <laughs> Get the fuck off. <laughs> But the most <laughs> terrifying thing about going to King's Island for the King's Island haunt was we get there and there's a goddamn giant Christmas tree. <sighs> and the first store you see when you come inside and turn right is a Christmas, Christmas store. store. With the sign that says, if you don't want to be scared during haunt. Well, pfft, um. <laughs> I literally the week before was like that. They already had put up that already. I mean, I get there's a lot to decorate for for Christmas, but I don't give a you know, shit. You are doing haunt. The first, but it's your like one She's of your opening haunt? weekends. It, it's it's when Kings Island does like you kind of like Universal Fright Night or whatever it's called. Doing haunt. I think you said a different. Did you say? Did you think she when, said doing haunt? Doing, doing haunt, haunt like Han well, Solo. Oh no, no haunt. Oh, gotcha. No. Haunt. No. He a little old now. Um, I still so do him. My, my crush was with Darth Vader anyway. Um, uh, uh, I'm not lying. No, she won't. Tim Curry, David Bowie, and Darth Vader were my three men in the trust me, one of these uh nineteen no, eighties no, no, no. dark one of these nineteen eighties dark fantasies gave me my uh sexual awakening. It would be the asexual person that awoke in that too, is the hysterical thing, because Bowie is so androgynous. Like he's a beautiful man, but he is so androgynous. He could be Whatever gender you want to be that day. When we get to it, because I have a picture of it, somebody tell me what's how many squirrels are in his pants. Two. Maybe six. <laughs> She's like, I don't know, but I want to count. I want to get up and close and personal. I still get I like I still kind of want to see what his bone structure is. Is there anything left? Like, is it was it big enough to still be there? I mean, like, <laughs> good God. Uh. I don't know about the size, size only matters if you know how to use it. <laughs> dance magic dance. He knew how to use I it. I would hope he would because he can move like crazy. You're right. Him and Jagger, right? <laughs> <laughs> he, he may make Jagger go, I wish I had the moves like Bowie. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I had the moves like Bowie. I like it. <laughs> so, all right. So, there, you got, we got to tell the fun story of Amanda and the Jack of the Box <laughs> on the roller coaster. Uh, so, yes. Yay. it's I'm the only one here who's seen it. We're going to start with a really creepy movie called Return to Oz. Okay. I need to see it now, though, because I'm freaking obsessed with, I mean, oh. I, like, I, like, I like the story of that type of thing. So, it's... So, the Return to Oz is a 1985 film. Uh, I think her name is Feruza Balk. Um, most people probably know her from the, um, the movie The Craft. I love craft, which which the short haired one. Ah, I love her. Yes. Okay, I'm into this. He's sorry. He's sorry. He's sorry. That one. Psycho I love bitch. <laughs> I love her. She is a great actress. Amazing so, actress. So, um, and Diamond, here's a little mm -hmm. uh thing for you. Um, All right. So, with the cast, where's where's the name of him? Where is he? Where is he? Frank, well, his name is Frank. Just kidding. The guy who plays TikTok, Sean Barrett. Uh -huh. Do you recognize that name? Nope. It's a trap. Extra. Akbar. Akbar. Yes. There you go. So he's in it. He plays a voice. But she he plays, plays a voice. <laughs> he plays the voice. Where's her trap? I feel like the word is he voices like a character, but like, okay. General Coalition, our so the character is literally called a voice. I guess it's possible there's a voice character. General Coalition, so our fleet cannot withstand firepower of that magnitude. So, in re so Return to Oz 1, they do go more shrimp. based off of the books. So yeah, Dorothy books so is not dark. played by a teenager. She's actually played by a child, bringing her closer to the age of seven like she's supposed to be. This is taking place during some of the books um, and... Hmm. Dorothy's family is still concerned about her because she still thinks Oz is real. So they find a doctor who can cure her with the most magical thing in the world. Cocaine. Electroshock therapy. Ah, sure, sure. That was my second guess. Lobotomy was my next one. Treatment. 
and it's oh, it's funny. All rage. he brings her in there and he's like, Look, this is our friend. He's got two eyes and nose, and this here's his mouth. And then they put the thing on your, and you're going, I'm going to watch Dorothy Gale get electroshock therapy. Yeah. Hey, it has its benefits. Hi, it's Mrs. Way overused. So, yeah, this is not your somewhere yeah. over the rainbow happy. In honor of Halloween, he's in my bucket. Aww. So this is not going to be your somewhere over the rainbow perfect little land of Oz. So the power goes out. Another one of the kids helper gets away. Um, and she goes down this riverbank. She gets knocked out. She wakes up in Oz. Oh, good. We're in the land of Oz. Except for everybody we've ever known is dead. Huh. What happened to Oz? <laughs> Fizz gig treat. Busy. Oh, wait. How'd Fizz Miss gig earn a second one? Misses. All right, misses. Woohoo. Here you go. Goodbye. Um, <laughs> that was gone. so quick. And she's gone. And you come Send across these. A, a lot of people have been turned to statues or they've just completely disappeared. Some of them have been turned into ornaments. Some of them are dead. Some of them are statues that have been decapitated. Oh, wow. That'll bless your heart. Which actually Ooh. comes in later in the movie. And this is why this is wow. such a great movie. One of the creepiest things for a lot of people are these characters called the wheelers. Oh. The wheelers are, well, let me just show you. Hold on. No, not that one. I've got a lot of things up. So here are the wheelers from Return to Oz. Oh, they're really wheels. What the heck? <laughs> what the frick? Those are wheelers. I don't know. That face was... Man. That's pretty creepy. Their design is creepy. The way they move. Yeah. The way ah. they talk yeah. is absolutely terrifying and these are one of the first people you meet as you get back to oz wow so where did they come from do they tell you I, well i assume we would well they, the they i'm not gonna give everything away i know i i oh. noticed i realized i first said it i know give it to us give it to us come on hit us with it we can hit it we can take it hit it say <laughs> do it because i'll never watch it but this one i actually want to watch <laughs> that one looked actually freaky bad that it might be worth taking a shot. Of oh, wait. Don't worry, because there's more coming. So wait, here we meet one of our villains and her room. Remember those statues that I told you were decapitated? Oh, they were once human They're beings, dead. and here's their heads. Nice. And yes, this lady. Why are you stopping? Oh, we're processing. This lady okay. brings Dorothy Gale in there because when Dorothy gets old enough, she wants to cut off her head. Interesting. Okay, could you... She only takes adult heads? She only takes adult heads, and you're about to see why. Oh, she trades them out. That's awesome. She trades her heads out. That's awesome. It's wow. great. That's but crazy. It's, but the most terrifying scene in this movie for me. Yeah. Is this. Whoa. It's this is. That's. Like, really intense. Like and you said, it's head, just The headless body wakes up. Wow. That is... You're right. This is not your grandmother's Wizard of Oz. Holy crap. Actually, it would be more your grandmother's Wizard of Oz because it would be more based on the books. The books were we, super dark. We, thought like Willy, they, we were thought that they were bad with the... Uh, 
uh, the flying monkeys. So like probably the chocolate factory. Like they're super dark. The books. Squeaker. Hey, um, we- Weird I thought the like- made-for-TV movie, the Wizard of Oz one, was it called Tin Man or or just Oz? But it had um, Zoe Deschanel in it, I believe. It was really good. Oh, I remember really that one. I, I remember that one. Uh, I had a return to Oz covering book, but never watched the movie. So I know things, <laughs> but I don't know things. Oh, no honey, things. watch the movie. Get yourself some popcorn, your little wee bucket, and a blanket. Because there are some seasons that you're just like, <laughs> and I tinkled. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I have to go blow my nose. I'll be right back. All right. I'm like, I'm 44 years old, and I still watch this. I go, I think I tinkled. <laughs> I don't know. That would make me tinkle. Uh, that would make me tinkle, even at my age now. I, Gee, I'm telling my, you, that is the, that, that the return intense. to I, Return to Oz is terrifying. All right. Oh gosh. And so. Like my, it looks, like my, it looks like my watch list is growing every <laughs> every day. I mean, jeez. Well, you know what, Diamond? I am glad I got something on here that really has sparked your interest. I'm really excited for that, in all okay. honesty. I mean, it just, I mean, that Willy thing is so freaky that, you know, it's like. Oh, the wheelies? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. And the, and the fun thing is, is and I'm not going to give it away. There's, she's not the only villain in this movie. Oh, uh, well. There are two villains. Oh, that'll so. keep you guessing, so. That that is really really crazy. So, yeah. I know a lot of people do think the original Wizard of Oz is a great movie to watch at Halloween. I yeah. highly recommend watching Return to Oz from 1985. Fantastic movie. Yeah. And don't worry, it's rated a family yeah, film. But 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 you but but you do have to. But there <laughs> are there rated differently in the 80s. Like but airplane? there are there are <laughs> parts so that are could be very hard for people though, right? Like you talked about. That's the point. The thematic, like the certain you got to remember, this is this is the eighties, okay? Uh huh. Eighties PG and G are not today's G and PG. <laughs> okay. Airplane, I'm pretty sure was considered PG. Do you remember Airplane, Dad? Oh, I love Airplane. I talk, I quote it all the time. It is so dirty and raunchy and awful, but it's a PG movie because no, it's hot. It's a high class mm-hmm. movie. It should have gotten an Oscar that year. Surely like the amount of pedophile jokes for that poor kid in that movie. <laughs> Joey, do you like movies about okay. gladiators? <laughs> Have you ever been in a Turkish prison? Oh god, I love that movie. <laughs> Sorry. Now, oh, my, dad, my, my dad said you're Kareem Abdul Jabbar, you know. Uh, that you're lazy. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry, Amanda. Oh, sorry. you're fine. You're fine. Another movie. I know I am. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> Another movie that a lot of people don't think should be a Halloween movie, but I think should be a Halloween movie because uh-huh. it is disturbing as hell. Okay. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. The books are worse. The original. With Gene Wilder? With Gene Wilder. Oh. He, looks he has so some nice dark moments. It's fantastic. He... What? Ah, where he does to those kids? And there's no to way. To be fair, the kids do it to themselves. I don't care. There are rules, and he put no, them in place, and they ignore nothing. them. Nothing. Nothing. No. What? Oh, that's weird. I've never Hi. seen it. Hi, baby. But you I think I will it. get the missus to watch it with me sometime. This is the only version there is. I agree with you. That scene, that scene is frightening. And Gene Warner just Gene Warner goes cuckoo for... No, okay, but he's like, but see, I see, that, I see like him dressed as a man, meme as like this harmless little guy. But just watching that scene, the look, the the creepy. But he's still very contained with like, it. Like he's absolutely psychotic. But like he's got this like containment that's so creepy. Yeah. And it's creepy. But as he starts, we don't know where the body's going. You're just like, okay, keep mm-hmm. Walter. I'm out. Like this is man. Dennis, are you trying to talk, sweetie? No, I am not. I was just, oh, uh, I was waiting for you. To you anyway. I was waiting for you to finish before I, I dove into that because I don't want to dive into the middle of uh, Gene Wilder on one of his trips. <laughs> true, true, Mrs. Charlie and Grandpa were like, this is cool. Everybody else was like, get me the hell off of here. Yeah. Fucking snake bites hey, at that one good. chick. So uh, the first movie that you missed that we talked about was Return to Oz. It's a great Halloween movie. Awesome Halloween, Halloween movie. movie. I've never seen Peru's it. Take it out of the factory. By the Peru's way, Mrs., if you missed it, Dadman, 
is interested in watching Return of uh, Return to Oz from 1985. So, oh, did you show him the um, the um, wheelie scene? The wheelers, oh, yes. yeah. The wheelers. The, wheel, the wheelers oh. were really freaky, but I, but I'll tell you, I I really and now wanted, man has given Amanda. The what you've really done is won't make, make me want to see Willy Wonka. Good. Because I, I thought it was just going to be a lame, silly, boring, no, like, not scary. I did not no. realize it was that kind of intense movie. That so, movie will okay. traumatize you, man. Wow. Especially not, when you really go into implications. It's not like outwardly a long time ago, but there's a lot of implications okay. that are how like. Do, how do I word this? Well, because it's. Hold I on. How do I word this? Well, this? Kids, drugs are bad. Do not take drugs. Really don't take drugs and watch Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. The end. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, see, or like, I, I saw the Johnny Depp one, okay? But the Johnny Depp one kind of had it. I Okay, Amanda, I know it's the only one I saw, but it was like, it was it had so much humor. You know, it was kind of dark, but it was humor. But that thing, Gene Wilder looked like he was, like, psychotic. He's deranged. He's no, he's deranged. deranged. Yeah, yeah he's absolutely. Like, completely unhinged. That's the point. He's a completely unhinged person. But he self-contains it in a way that's, like... My, ma it's my man is like got casual malice for the world. Casual malice is a good way to put it. <laughs> like, because there's, there's a point. There's, there's, there's this point where this kid's about to do something. He's like, no, wait, stop. Yeah, that's a, that's yeah. exactly what I was about to go. So, he's about to go jump on the scale, or um, is it the scale or no, is it the? It's the my TV thing. No, wait. Stop. Yeah, when he goes to stop, wait, the, come back. TV. So, yeah, he's but, yeah, because he's just kind of like he's, he's kind of like yeah, this. Go for it. No, wait, stop, <laughs> come back. So whenever a customer tells me that they'll never come back, it's me. Stop, wait, come back. No, <laughs> please. Yeah, I love that. He's just he he just he knows something bad's about to happen. He's fully within his within the way to stop it from happening. But he's like, you know what? Because it's the kid's choice. He let's, already told him what to do. Enough. Let's do. let's see what he does. And if. And if that scene alone isn't enough to tell you that this should be, uh, this is a good movie to watch for Halloween, it's in a chocolate factory. Candy. Candy. Yes. Yep. Uh, have we done the movie that I'm sure Amanda has brought up, was going to bring up at some point tonight? Nope, this, is second one. Movie, this is only the second. Uh, movies on the list are, of course, Labyrinth, Secret of Nim, uh, uh -huh. The Dark Crystal, The Never Ending Story. Some uh, I, I have throw, clips for, some I don't. Go ahead. Can I, can I throw Kroll in there? Because you mentioned Dark Fantasy. Kroll's a good one. Which one's that? Uh, he's got the weird bio-blade thing. Yeah, oh, I, I was going more with the 1980s family film type feel. Oh, Stuff okay, we so, watched as kids. Would you think Willow is that dark of a movie? Willow, Willow, like, Willow, would, a Willow in my mind would be considered. Okay, okay. I, Willow has a seat at the table then. Okay, this, I need your backing on this. For an animated movie, Secret of Nim, that is a movie. If that man's going to watch anything animated, that's the one he needs to watch. That's that's that's, that's Don Bluth and his like, Fievel Goes no. West. No, Fievel. Fievel's a cute little mouse character. Well, no, 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 no. What I'm, what what I'm, say, what I'm, what I'm saying is like, those that stretch of movies like the five old and five goes west all dogs go to heaven that stretch there is like his golden streak i loved all I'm dogs just, go to heaven oh it's movie. just oh uh, it's oh, amazing well since we're talking my favorite about movie it, to cry to when i was a kid since we're talking oh, it's about fucked. it uh oh uh oh what's uh oh secret of him mm-hmm Oh God, spiders! Oh, Shit, doesn't like that. Oh. Holy crap! Oh spiders. God! Oh. What the? That scared the living sh out of me as a kid. They showed this to kids, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is a family film. We were talking about another like, like, Why do you picture. think I didn't like movies in the sixties and the seventies? The, the ratings they did in that era was a joke. Like yeah. these are not PG. They're still a joke. What are you, you talking about? And a mouse to college when you went to school. <laughs> the oh. fact this movie, I find to be a. This is a movie that you can watch any time of the year. Yeah. yeah, I find it to be a great movie for Halloween because it has legitimate spine-chilling moments like that throughout the movie. It, 
it, it, it, it, it is no tape backs, no holds bar, throws reality in your face. Yeah. And you understand everything. You understand Mrs. Brisby and her journey because yep. you feel every spine chilling moment she has from the lawnmower to her neighbor telling her to suck it up. She doesn't have time to cry to having to go face the great owl. You're a mouse. Yep. Why don't you go talk to an owl? How about no? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They're brave mice out there. So I am not going Jerry. to the great owl. Yeah. I'm Jerry. a mouse. And, and Jerry would take it on. You would bring money to class and turn, and then they would send a mouse for. They would send a mouse for research to a college. I was mortified as a kid. I have never heard of that. That is weird. Wow. That hmm. is really weird. I have Still never reading heard of animals that. to science. So, if you don't know a little bit of Secret of the Nim. It is the story of Mrs. Jonathan Brisby, whose husband has passed away and she needs to move her house because the farmer is going to destroy it. Mm -hmm. She is told to go on this journey to where she can find the rats of Nim. These creatures were tested on by scientists and got smarter and escaped. But they're smart to the point where they know what electricity is. Mm -hmm. clothes. They can make elevators. And Mrs. Brisby's journey... To a lesser extent, magic. If you can believe it. Huh. Mrs. Brisby's journey. You're gonna you're gonna laugh, you're gonna cry, you're gonna go, oh I shit myself. <laughs> Mostly that last one. <laughs> Mostly that last one. Because trust me, that is a clip it. That's just the owl smashing the spider. There's a whole scene of the spider. <laughs> that you're like, I'm not there. I'm not even here for this. No, please stop. No. Spiders? <laughs> Please. I, I, I'm out. I'm out. Spiders. That's it. it. It's the only spider in the entire thing, and it's stalking her as she's well, trying to find the great it's owl. The only spider. It needs to like. It needs to survive. That's terrible, poor spider. I I don't know. I've got enough problems with spider issues. Why they don't have well, issues because, with me. because I was a kid. We had the reel to reel projectors back then, and they they would always show these daggum giant tarantula movies, and it was like. You know, spiders are it, awesome. It was like, I can't deal with spiders. I can't. <laughs> no, you spider people are something else. Spiders but yeah, I'm good. but it was those early movies as a kid that like got it got to me. It's like Jaws or the Tiki Doll, you know. Well, <laughs> Tiki. Why do we go yeah. back to the Tiki Doll? What the fuck, man? <laughs> what you mean? Yeah, the, yeah. It's one of my class. Yeah, this guy here. You know. I mean. So. When she has to sneak into the house, Mrs. Brisby, to put the sleeping stuff in Dragon, which is the cat's food, your heart during that scene is doing this. And then you have a heart attack. So it's a great Holy movie. Shit. So it's a perfect Holy movie for Halloween. Holy shit, Crow is two hours long. Fuck, I forgot that. I, I saw crawl crawl uh the mst i mean the rift tracks guys did crawl a yes few years ago. we loved it Ooh, i gotta add that uh babe sometime you gotta come over and watch mystery science theater 3000 with me it is funny mystery okay. science theater 3000 they did yeah. a reboot they did a reboot with uh, Pat and Oswald and stuff, yeah. and it's uh, it's, it's, Pat and Oswald. it's not it's not terrible. It's okay. Like like I said, like I didn't say it was like it was, it's like it's okay. It's okay, but it does not have the same oomph as the originals. It's not as good as Joel. Acknowledge it exists is a big compliment. What is it's, it? Joel and Mike were those the two yeah. originals? Joel was the original one, then Mike Nelson. Right. And see, I like Mike Nelson better now when he's with Rift Tracks with Corbett and uh, Kevin Murphy. They do their own thing over there. I like the three of them. They do. The I'll tell you what, even, the okay, even though we're supposed to be doing dark 1980s dark fantasy, more kind yeah. of like the family stuff that you grew up as a kid, I will tell you this. Put on Mystery Science Theater 3000. There's your yeah. Halloween. Th there's your 31 days of Halloween. Yes, exactly. They've done so many <laughs> of those movies already. Yeah. <laughs> the amazing colossal man and all kinds of stuff. I mean, well, of course that's not eighties, but 
what is it? Uh, Manos, the hands of fate. Yes. That is the most yeah. classic three to three thousand ever. Ever. I I beg to dip. My favorite is my favorite is the Puma Man one. Believe it or not, Mystery Science Theater 3000 <laughs> is how I got introduced to Gamera. Gamera. Really? Uh huh. Gamera. Which well, we which one the, the, which one was your favorite? Uh, uh, all of them. Ah, uh, uh, Gamera versus yeah, Gearos was my favorite for them. But I still gotta say the Puma Man one. That's my favorite. Like whenever he's flying and he's playing that stupid music and them just making up the words is is magic. Yeah, but. Man, uh, Manos in the Hands of Fate is a really classic. Yeah, it's a classic. I will give it that. That is a classic. Now, it is a classic. Uh huh. Movie that I, an, another animated movie that I think from Rankin and Bass that I believe should be considered a good watch for Halloween. Mm hmm. Hit us with it. Last that. Unicorn. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a cool. mind fuck. Yeah. Love Last Unicorn. That's trippy. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic movie and gorgeous animation. Mm. Some of Reagan Bass is best. That's not their stop motion stuff. Yeet. Bye. Hmm. That her just running like I am out of here. That boy oh, yeah. terrified me as a kid. Terrified mm, yeah. me as a kid. That's unstoppable. And the heartbreaking story behind this, and the fact that I, I'm, I, I, I was telling Diamond a little bit about this. This mm -hmm. is one of those movies that technically does not have a happy ending. Nope. Wow. Well, well, that there's your dark movie. You know, because not every movie should have it. Well, I ending. love there's, movies there's, that don't have the happy endings. Yeah. <laughs> They're so much more realistic. Mm -hmm. Like, hold on a second. We were just talking about Mystery Science Theater six hours ago. They posted a thing that said, help us make season 14. Oh. Okay. Uh, but, sorry, yeah. I just, sorry, it's uh, fun. shiny object. But I like the, but what, what makes it more interesting is the fact that it's not really a happy ending. Is they kind of, if you're a kid and you don't understand what's going on, it seems like a happy ending. Yep. But as an adult, and you listen yeah. to the words at the end of the movie, you're like, this is not a happy ending. This is this really is sad and tragic. Super tragic, yeah. So it it's a brilliant movie, family-wise, because kid kids will love the animation and the little wizard in it. And it's a unicorn! Unicorns! Woohoo! <laughs> the adults will love the story. And, and the unicorns! And the unicorns, <laughs> and they'll they'll get a lot more of they'll understand the story more. Like the, for me, the most heartbreaking the thing is when meaning. when she's up on the tower with the king, and he tells her the story of the unicorns and the Red Bull. And I am not going to ruin it for anybody who hasn't watched it. It's me. tearful, <clears throat> and you're terrified of this guy. And you're like, you have these mixed emotions of anger, but sadness because of the sadness because of the story and anger towards the guy who did it. Mm -hmm. What movie? The Last Unicorn. Mm. Mrs. wanted to know what we were talking about. Yeah, the unicorn. It's it. Thing. The movie came it's out. It's awfully and dark, though. It's it's just amazing me how back then all these movies were dark. They, I mean, I know well, if you're trying to convey a message, you would have dark, but just I guess it's dark. But back in the day, you could be you could be a little bit darker with kids than you were like the today. It's like all the right. dark. No, 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 I, 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 I disagree. We could still be as dark today with kids. Our society thinks that we can't. And society does not understand that kids can take the adrenaline rush. That's like one of the fun things about Halloween is dressing up and going to haunted houses and going on roller coasters. They want mm. this adrenaline rush. <laughs> These were the movies that gave them those adrenaline rushes. Kids like adrenaline rush. It's but part see, of their nature. But see, I, I will kind of counter the opposite. See, I was one of those that this stuff too early freaked the shit out of me. And 
like even something like Jaws, you get a few visuals, a few, few clips. I think some kids could naturally return in terror. And I, you know, I, it's not about the adrenaline sometimes. You I hate haunted even houses. know your kids. I, I, well, like me, I'm just from my thing. I hated haunted houses. I mean, they freaked me out. I could not even walk near them because of the chainsaws, the blood. It just. So with me, and, I and, do and it. that also it, that also goes into you need to know your kid. Is your kid a pussy like that, man? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. You're talking about just like the adrenaline and the surface kind of stuff, but just like the meaning of some of the storylines and the underarching like I, I, I do. like like you could put a six year old into like this existential crisis, like oh my god, unicorns and they're all dying off and and extinction is a real possibility you know like maybe if they're not old enough to really handle those type of concepts i can get that type of like or right, yeah, your, right, child, right, right. your child psychotic like me he goes swing him again jason swing him again <laughs> okay. yeah, i was totally all about that when i was a kid like I, you, got, you gotta you gotta know, know your child all right what you gotta understand to... your child well then that's the only thing i, I want to raise up right there because yeah some kids get the adrenaline with it and others just melt down and retreat in fear and, you know i'm the kid who jason vore he was funny as he was slaughtering a bunch of teenagers but E.T. because they didn't know what the hell he looked like and he was running through the forest and there was just this red glow scared the living fuck out of me E.T. You made fun of me One more time like when I was a kid but Anastasia and freaked me out with bones and breast One more time and, One more time into the tree Jason my boy <laughs> Yeah that's a good shit Yeah leave another smiley face on a tree for me Thanks Jason I appreciate that <laughs> so yes you do need to know your kids but i do have a feeling that kids back in especially a lot of us who grew up in the 80s a lot of us watched a lot of the same movies so it seemed a lot more acceptable right and i think we tolerated it more and i do i do feel that there are a lot this over extension of political correctness has also Sheltered a few kids. I was gonna say it's sheltering. It's coddling and it's sheltering. Yeah. Yep. And they, these are going to be the kids that are going to be afraid of chili downs. But not necessarily. I think sometimes they'll grow. Oh, up. I, I, I think that they can really? grow. Really? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on, dad man. Because I know these two have seen this damn. Uh, actually, all three of you have seen this movie. Am I What's the only one knows it? The chili downs are the red fiery guys from Labor. Oh, oh it's fuck. Yes. Chili it's been a while. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes chili downs. There. Labyrinth. Hair, yes, hair thank you. Chili downs. <laughs> okay. Okay, sorry. I thought you I saw Cassie's face, which translated into Dennis's face that I can't see. And well, I knew he, exactly. he said something. He was like, wait, what? Yeah, I yeah. said the fuck is a chili <laughs> down. He specifically said something. I thought you were talking about like a chili dog, but like just got cut off, and I'm like, wait, what? Yeah, I know. No, 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 no. I understand you. Dennis, you really need to get an avatar instead of showing your nipple there. So you know how that goes. I like his nipple. Uh, I everybody's with, look. I I, I can play with this nipple. Do, 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 do. I didn't wow. realize that's why that was called. Wow! Called wow! Wow! Cold <laughs> right in front of my girlfriend too. <laughs> I own you and your girlfriend, so bite me. Uh, <laughs> I can't um, contradict this. Okay. Uh, so. I'm saving my favorite, mm -hmm. my favorite for last. Sure. Mm -hmm. So okay. another movie that I think is quite terrifying mm -hmm. and it's probably one of the movies mm -hmm. that made me cry like a little bitch. But it is a birth video. fantasy. Yes, that one too. Mm -hmm. That makes everybody cry like a little bitch. Oh God, it's getting <laughs> bored again. You know what? I'm just going to play it. No. Yes, I am. No. Yes, she yes, am. I am. No. No, <laughs> I know what it is. I know what it is. Don't you dare. Right. This Look is a up. bullshit. Aww. That's a bullshit. Don't, don't you do dare. it. You fucking don't know. Don't do it. Don't you know. <laughs> no, you don't. No, it's too late. I'm already here. It doesn't matter if she plays it out. Get out of here. <laughs> My brain's already like, No, when she said, you know what? It's sad. I'm like, no, no, no. I remember Why this. Why do this, this to everybody? This was bullshit. That is not fair. No, no, she didn't play the sound. No, that's not gonna, that's bullshit. <laughs> no, copyright, copyright. Save me. 
I've always Mama about the Mama Susan. Mama <laughs> Susan. Oh arrest God. this bitch. Mama you know, Susan, arrest this you know, bitch. This is no. Beyond, ah. This is beyond dark. Oh my God. This. This. Oh. 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 See, and I tell you, that's probably why I didn't ever have a desire to watch those movies. Knowing that oh, oh, they get you on some like emotional that. roller coasters. Yeah. That's for that, sure. This one was. Hey, it's a, like Amanda going. <laughs> that one was some bullshit. No. Ready, sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I remember seeing that as a kid and like my aunt having to be like really mad at my cousins for showing us that. That was worse oh. than um, Old Yeller. Like, that was way worse than Old Yeller. Even well, though, yeah, even it was way worse than Old Yeller. Even, even though I'm the one who picked the clip, played the clip, my eyes are kind of watered. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's some heavy shit. Especially when you know the context of it. And that's what I'm saying. Like, if oh, your kid's not ready harsh. to understand that type of like situation, that oh, I can understand. Not when your kids be involved. Let's go watch the Never Any Story. How about right. that? All right. Hey, so, Dad, I found this t- movie called The Never Ending Story. He's about to go to the swamp of Turn It Off. Mm-hmm. Like that's good because I wanted to talk to you about putting your cat down. Exactly. Well, yeah. we're gonna put your uh, cat in the swamp of sadness. <laughs> oh no! It's better than putting it in the bog of eternal stench. So, uh, hey, at least in the bog of eternal stench, it's funny. That was just fucking tragic. Yeah. Like, god damn. But but I'll, I'll tell you that I'll be honest with the never a new story. Even the things that are supposed to be mm-hmm. nice, um, like. I'm gonna be honest. Um, let me get past the stupid ads that they want to put on me now. Um, even the lovely and wonderful luck dragon is kind of creepy looking. It's yeah. cool though. Yeah, he is. Oh. I mean- I, like I mean, the fact that I, I, I like children for Ooh, breakfast. He looks high as balls, man. <laughs> I used to have the biggest crush on him. On Falcor? No. Kind of I thought you were a furry at some point. No. She liked I'll the long tail. <laughs> Unfortunately, there wasn't internet reviews in the 80s. A lot of times the parents were thrown for a loop also. That is true. All we had was uh, Cisco and Ebert, you know? Cisco and Ebert will tell you the God's honest truth on shit, man. They don't care. Yeah. God rest their souls. I'm just saying, there's there's very few kids who would tell you that E.T. isn't a classic children's movie. But I still remember remember watching the first half of E.T. like this. (laughs) <laughs> is he in the bedroom yet where he becomes cute and friendly because he's really creepy until that point oh no 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 the the part that got me was when they've got him and they've like open heart surgery and like all that stuff that was so like, that I'm terrified was traumatizing I'm yeah I'm that was when fucked he runs up. Through the woods. I'm terrified yeah. when he throws the ball back out on the shed and then he does that little squat run thing where he's like <laughs> Oh, fuck yep. off. Hell, no, 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 <laughs> burn it. Just take off and nuke the site from orbit just to be sure. No. <laughs> like, E.T. scared the living shit out of me. And then there's like this moment where he gets into the bedroom and he yeah. throws the blanket over him. And all of a sudden, E.T.'s become like this completely different creature. And I'm like, oh, he's not so bad. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is. I realize it's the same puppet. I re- but that the entire interaction, all the way up until he finally gets him in the room, is just heart right and just the, the heart beating, terrifying. And it's it, and I do like ET as a Halloween movie. Not to mention it does have Halloween in it, so it counts. Um. <laughs> there is an amazing, amazing fan theory about that movie. Where so, he's like some Jedi or something because of his. Well, no, no, not like a Jedi, but some kid is dressed up as Yoda in that movie. Right. And which, he is why, free- which is why we see E.T.'s in The Phantom Menace. 
and he freaks out and he tries to he like freaks out like he knows him home he yells at him home 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 which originally was just a throwback because lucas and spielberg worked on each other's things that they worked on each other a lot right Mm. in the back rooms yeah that sounds weird Ah, it was meant to be weird but like the theory is that because there were uh, ets and phantom menace and uh, E.T. recognized Yoda, the kid in the Yoda costume. It's believed that he's. they take place in the same. Our, our <laughs> galaxy is somewhere closer to yeah. their galaxy so, than what it's thinking. So now what about Labyrinth? You haven't gotten to Labyrinth yet. <laughs> so. Oh, I can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> that might, one's, that I might one's recall probably... that one. I might recall that one because we saw there. this a couple but, of years but ago. But it's going to be the last one because it's her favorite. So you have to let it go. It's going to be the last one. Oh, we're getting okay. there. I, I can think of sh- a very look at the shirt, Dabby. Look at the Bowie. Trust in the Bowie. Are, are Trust- we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we oh there my yet? god. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Sorry. I think I can think of one really big reason why that's her favorite. What his horns? Don't worry. I got it. <laughs> there, 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 no, there is a horn. There is an A. There is a horn. I'm thinking about there, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> but. Back to the never any story. Um, oh. it's, it's, it's it's another. It you know your kid has to be ready for it, man. But I highly recommend letting your kids watch it. Yeah, there's gonna be a couple of gut punches. Um, there's gonna be some things, um, that they may not understand. Uh, oh, there's the fuel of the hatred fizz gig treat. Yeah, that was coming so fizzy. Giggity. Come here, you little. Come here, chunky. Come on, up you go, up. You gotta come up, up. There you go. Hey, fist gig. There you go, baby. Fist gig. Oh, are we full? Too bad you get it anyway. Um, mm-hmm. But there's also eat it. You'll, you'll, you'll like it. not only eat it. is there the heart wrenchy scene, but there's a couple of really terrifying scenes. Yep in it and one of the ones that really kind of stood out to me was when he showed up well who showed up who's old let's see it like that animatronic is so creepy yeah it is oh but it's so good though it's so good look at it 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 is good. I'm not going to lie. In today's day and age, that would be like a CG thing that looks like shit. Those eyes are just piercing. I will not die easily. I am a warrior. Ah, brave warrior. And that voice. So there are seeds in there. Hmm. Oh, by the way, if you do watch it. And they get to the ending, and the kid yells out, That's a kid, I'm a kid, I'm a kid. Don't worry, none of us understood what the hell he said when we were kids. <laughs> there you go. You know what I'm talking about, right? Where he gives her her name? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Do you know what the name is, Dennis? Uh, Fantasia, I believe. Nope. Cassie? Cassie, st- Cassie, stop! You don't I need to. Text- no. Oh, you don't need to text you. Dennis right now. He's right here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not going to give you the dirty pictures, so no, I, I like, don't know. You sent it to the group chat. Now everybody has them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! I knew I did something wrong. Frick. Moon child. Hmm. No, I don't. What's his mom's name? <laughs> but the way he has it, <laughs> you're like. What the f- did he just say? What the hell did that kid say? And then as an adult, you're like, really? Really? That's really? Really? But The Never Any Story yeah, is really? a great movie. Um, mm-hmm. I highly recommend watching the one. Not so much the other one. The next one. <laughs> no. <Maybe. laughs> no. No, don't watch them. And hold on. How many of them are there? Like six. (laughs) Hold on. (laughs) 
see. There's three. Three. 1984 is the one we're talking about. That there's mm -hmm. the Neverending Story two, which is in 1990, and then the only reason. Really, only three? I really thought there were at least four. That's crazy. I really thought there were four. The only reason to watch three is there's a very young mm -hmm. Jack Black in it. I don't remember which, three. That's which, great though. Which but one? he plays it. He plays never the bully. Any, never, never any story, story three. three. Well, no idea like what you're talking three. about. Just got here. We're talking about 1980 family films that are dark fantasies that are great to watch for Halloween. <sighs> and Yay. we've got to be hooked on at least one. Return to Oz. I want to say Return to Oz. Now, and there are some other ones, guys. Um, another favorite of mine, The Dark Crystal. Matter of fact, if you know if you know me, you know <clears throat> I'm a fan. She just likes puppets. <laughs> fuel. This, yeah, I'm no fuel. Stop that. That's bad. Bad fuel. Oh, no. Go back in your corner. Um, Fizzy is actually named after one of the creatures of the Dark Crystal, so it is a huge 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 impact into my life yep. um and if you have netflix even though they didn't finish it you should definitely check out the uh even though you know after you watch the movie you know how the series was originally going to end but they did such a great job when they brought it back out for um as a prequel over on uh netflix yep. um Time Bandits is another great 80s movie, another dark fantasy about a kid and a bunch of dwarves traveling through time, being chased by the devil. Oh, God damn. Of course. <laughs> the Adventures of Mark Twain. <laughs> and um, Ooh, the villain, hold on. I gotta, I gotta the find this for... for you guys um, is play. Uh, so just so you know, um, John Cleese is in it. Sean Connery is in it. And. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't like thinking about Sean Connery because he and Betty White were supposed to live forever. Yeah. <laughs> and David Warner, he's actually called, uh, he's the evil genius. And this movie came out in 1981. He's the devil. And um, if you nice. don't know who that is, that it most people probably know him from the original Tron movie as the guy with the really cool helmet in red. I can't remember his character's name. Who worked for the Master Controller. And for the generation... Sir? Yeah. And for the generation who is yeah. obsessed with that horrible movie called Titanic, he <laughs> is the right-hand man to... The ever lovable, ooh, I could eat him up all day long. My second husband next to Seth MacFarlane, the ever lovable Billy Zane. Hmm. That's yeah. Yeah. Billy Zane's pretty great. Oh my god! Mm. I was gonna say, I just sent Amanda what could possibly be the creepiest scene in any claymation movie ever. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Is it from James and the Giant Peach? Nope, I could beat you. I could beat you that. Uh, you can beat me that. Yeah. You think you can? Oh, I know I can. Go oh, watch you know the you return. Can. Go watch the return to Oz and watch the ending. I did watch the ending, and I think that's, that's still creepier. Play, no, 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 no. Especially when, especially when the one thing has uh the Jack pumpkin head and is about to eat him. Nope, 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 nope. nope. <laughs> All right, no accounting for taste. <laughs> but not well, yeah. like something's amiss here. There you go. Would you all stop pushing me? I'm getting there. <laughs> oh, oh, God damn it. You're getting come on. Speed up. You're not that old. <laughs> it's because they're men, Amanda. We understand when you take the time. Warm your So up ladies there. and gentlemen. My baby. Mm hmm The wonderful, ever lovable, the movie Labyrinth, a ninth. 1986 film with the best pop star ever to exist, my David Bowie, and the, the biggest bulge to exist. With the, the biggest bulge, <laughs> look at the bulge. This is the movie that gave me my sexual awakening. As what well, <laughs> freaked me oh, out. I thought Michael Jackson was the best of all time. No. <laughs> oh, his nah, he's flatter than day old soda, bud. 
one of the best movies that I love to watch any time of the year, but it's a great Halloween movie, is The Ever Lovable Labyrinth. It's From, a good movie. It's a great movie. It's an amazing movie. Um, I did see but that. There, are, creep, there <laughs> are creepy scenes like this. What do you mean, help? The Helping Hands was... <laughs> yeah. What do you mean, help? Of course. Um... I, I think that I think this hand's trying to get a little bit close. I think that hand was one of the hands from Ghostbusters that got to grab Sigourney Weaver and thought it would be okay to do that to Jennifer Connelly. I'm not sure. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Sigourney Weaver tits. Those are great. If I had a chance to be like, oh, whoops, I, did. I accidentally <laughs> copped a feel. Oops. 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 Copped a feel on Sigourney Weaver. Oops. <laughs> oh, my God. Stop that. You're being bad, Phil. But yeah, the helping hands. By the way, it's it's a great movie. Fantastic music. Oh yeah. Dance you actually got Sergeant David. Dance yeah, Sergeant he... Dance is fantastic. It's a great <clears throat> soundtrack. It's a it's a family film. Mm -hmm. It was a pretty good film. I, you know, I don't remember a lot of the specifics. But for but me, I, I enjoyed it with the missus. The creepiest scene. Oh, mm. that was the wrong button. Was, <laughs> was this scene. I get the hell out. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Get wow. out of my room. Get Just out. Open of it up my and room. she's right there. Give it to me. Here you go. In the scene where she's got her in the chair and she starts piling everything on her, turning her into a junk lady. Oh, gosh. Terrifying. <clears throat> so terrifying. It's, it was just one of those things. When the Muppets upstage you, there's a problem. Yes. It's I don't know. The Muppets are pretty movie. fantastic, man. It's oh, yeah. The Henson stuff is... The Henson stuff is the, is the stuff. But... I love the twist and the darkness to it. You know, you get it, you, your very first intro, introduction when you finally get into it, when Sarah finally gets into the labyrinth, after, you know, you have that awakening of, oh, sparkle, sparkle, David Bowie, hi. Look at the balls. <laughs> oh, we haven't looked at the, we're looking at his other balls still. We haven't seen those balls yet. We don't really <laughs> see those balls till we get to dance magic. Woohoo, dance. <laughs> Swing it for me, baby. Oh, he ain't um, swinging shit in those tight pants. Those are pressed right up against his leg. <laughs> but one, when you get introduced to Hoggle, and what is he doing? He's pissing in the fountain. <laughs> <laughs> it's a family film, guys. My man just taking it. My dude's taking a piss, and we're like laughing at him. Come on! <laughs> I mean, you well, 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 see everything in. but his little hoggle BB. Okay, <laughs> you see, screen, you see him zip BB. himself up, and you're just like, Woo, I, see the hoggle. I want to see the hoggle BB. <laughs> and then he takes the bug sprayer and he starts spraying the fairies. And that whole scene, oh, yeah, it's horrible. No, I'm not. I'm Hoggle. And she picks up and it bites her. She's like, ow. <laughs> like, but you got to get, but I will say this. There is one character that is better than anything <laughs> else in the yep. entire movie. Who Who's is that? the best character? Who is that? Who are, you, who are you talking about? I'm waiting like for the image. commercial. I don't care. Shut up. No kitty. It is time no for the greatest character in Labyrinth. Let's see if I'm seeing the right thing. Hello. Oh, yeah. No, I was thinking, but yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> Door. <laughs> well, that's close enough. Oh, I said, oh, oh my God. Well, that's close enough. I want it. <laughs> oh my god. You don't by any chance know the way through this labyrinth, do you? 
Who, me? Nah, I'm just a worm. <laughs> Best character ever. Come inside to meet the missus. <laughs> I love that guy. No, no, no. Everybody all the time. Come Tell a better love story than Twilight. Yep. <laughs> Don't go that way. She would have kept on going that way. She would have gone straight on to the castle. You son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> you, Sarah, what did Hoggle tell you right before you entered the labyrinth? You have to ask the right questions. You forgot to ask the right question. Uh -huh. But of right course, pressure. the the most terrifying thing. The most. In the labyrinth. <laughs> Booyah! All oh, that glory right there. What is in there? <laughs> <laughs> what is in there? Why does he have a third appendage here? <laughs> it's there, winking you right in the face, looking you in the eye, just like, "Hey, buddy, what's up?" And all of a sudden, these weird feelings down here emerged. <laughs> oh my gosh, you know, I'm sexier than that. Come on, really? <laughs> you know, that was just, that's wrong. Man's, nobody man's is a sexier than trying to nobody, get a, get no, a job. no. Yeah, yeah. Nobody is sexier than my David Bowie. Uh, I'm not even Seth MacFarlane. Not even Seth MacFarlane. Wow. <laughs> not Darth Vader. Tonight. Not Tim Curry. Nobody. 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 What is. Because they're all Sarah. <laughs> Cause, cause of lines like this, so little. Just let me rule you. Okay. God <laughs> damn. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey about fifteen years too early. Yeah. <laughs> Fear me, love me, do as I say, and I will be your slave. Okay. Sold. Where do I sign? No. I, I I need the dotted line, please. Ow. Shut. Dad. Mrs. Wow. Mrs. Dead Man is moist. Man, I heard <laughs> what's the matter? She, she didn't leave it at the first one. It was the second one that took it over the top. Damn. Uh, oh well. well. <laughs> you, you know what you got to do, Dad. He's not, Walking. <laughs> I'm gotta go, folks. I will see y'all later another time, and I will catch you later. Bye. Oh, you are actually leaving. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too. This is uh, that was good. That was a good line. But Real. what's y'all talking Real. about about the red t Tim Tim Curry in the big uh, uh, I forget what movie that is, but it's Legend. awesome. Legend, yeah, that's awesome as fuck makeup. I can get this. Give me a second. Oh my god! Get the hell off YouTube. What? I didn't do anything? So I gotta roll this out there. I gotta roll this out there. Uh, there's a meme that was like, uh, what is it? Tim Curry was so successful in uh, Muppets Treasure Island because he considers himself a fellow Muppet. And the dude from Muppet Christmas Carol uh, was so successful in that movie because he considered the Muppets fellow actors. And I was like, I think that's Michael why Caine, David... By the way. Michael Caine, thank you. Michael Caine was so successful in that one because he considered the, the Muppets fellow <laughs> actors. But Tim Curry was so successful because he considered himself a fellow Muppet. And I think that's like in between both of them is David Bowie and Labyrinth. Yeah. Like he's equal parts like treating them as like fellow actors, but also hamming it up just like the, the Muppets. So is this Tim Curry? This, this is, is Tim, Tim Curry. Curry. This is, oh my gosh. Wow. I'm not hungry. I would you like are. to say, like, you can tell a lot by a person's care about a person's character by where they know Tim Curry from. Wow.
Muppet Treasure uh, Island is uh, mine. Muppet Treasure Island, Legend, Rocky Home Alone, Horror, Home Pizza Alone Show. 2. Home Alone, Home Alone 2. 2. I loved Clue. Clue was amazing. Actually, Ooh. I knew him first from the movie Congo. Do you remember that? He had a really small nope, bit part. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Start eating my sesame cake. Nope, nope, nope. First Tim Curry movie. movie. First Tim Curry movie I've ever seen of his. Annie. Oh, yeah. Hey, He's hey. hey, that's a good one. Because you have, I've got Tim Curry, Bernadette Peters, and Carol Burnett. Ah! Not that that excited me at all. Introduced in Rocky Horror, yes. Let's uh, let's see the devil seduce voice, somebody. His voice darkness in here. Listen to this. <laughs> Just to please me. I do nothing for your pleasure. Just to please me. Ooh, but this is another great '80s dark fantasy. Dark, dark fantasy. It's about killing unicorns. Oh, we got back to that again, like the last unicorn. Boy, but man, we're into <laughs> killing unicorns. Fuck me. Man, we That's don't like unicorns in the 80s. God, man, you better keep your Fortnite character the hell away from the 80s. I will, definitely. <laughs> we're not yeah, I haven't seen this one either. Oh, no, the missus. Um, I've got, I've got, I got it on Divida with the original British extended Divida. version. Nice. Wow. <laughs> Damn, I, I don't know. Rocky Horror just the thought of going to that just scares me. I mean, it's enough freaky people. I have been told people. I'm going to be taken for about 13 years, I've and heard, it's never I, happened. I've heard that they do stuff to people that haven't been there before. So I've been told yep, they do. They I'm do. Prepared. They I'm not do. Prepared, but I'm prepared. <laughs> I had Rocky Horror bust a bust the balloon really right simple. in my ass. Mine was very simple. They poured chocolate syrup across my boobs, and a girl went here, and a guy went here. That was mine. Well, I'm not going to have my boobs out, so we can't do that with me. I had a balloon popped in my ass by Rocky Horror himself. Wait, wait, wait. Stop. Stop. Stop, stop in one second, though. No. Oh, that was... What, but what in my case? I mean... I, 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 I it depends Trump, on where I you go. Do. Cause if, Hold they, on. Like, if they did that to me, it's like, what did the missus say? You know? Nothing. Nothing she can't say. Okay, all right. Hold on, hold I on, mean, Dad. Dad, I'll tell you exactly what might happen to you. Oh, they no. gonna bend you over. No, uh, no, -uh. gone. No. Yeah, they're gonna balloon yeah. Yeah, 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 gone. yeah, they're gonna make you hold a balloon between your ass cheeks. Yeah, and Rocky Horror himself is gonna bust that balloon in your ass cheeks. No, nope. That no. is what happened to me. It'll happen to you. No. That was mine. Oh, there my you go. God. Wow, that's crazy. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I had to kiss a girl and I didn't like it. <laughs> oh, but anyway, but anyway, I don't know, Rocky. Rocky. Rocky had some warm hands. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Them hands on my he, hips. Those were. He would have taken some, good care of you, baby. He would have taken amazing care of me. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you crying? Do you want me to stop? <laughs> <laughs> it's tears of joy. <laughs> <laughs> no, keep going. Sure, you for you. I'll take some popcorn though. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It depends on where it depends on where you go. Yep. Oh my God! Would you stop for two seconds? Thank you. No. <clears throat> Did we just take a detour, or is this okay? Give me a no. Give me C. C. Give me K. What's that spell? Rocky! I can't hear you! Rocky! Rocky! Yeah, yeah, fuel. I'm on you. You're welcome to all the reverse things. What do we got? The spell? And that's what you get to expect with I'm the Rocky sorry, Horror I Picture even Show. Asked. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, you're not. You were curious. 
Not anymore. That took care of all the curiosity. My good He's granny just, was in the day, the day the earth stood still. still. And he told, but he told us where, where we stand. On our feet. And Flash Gordon was there. There in silver underwear. Claude Rains was the invisible the man. man. Was Claude Rains. Sorry, I know the callback lines. Yep. I am going to teach you so much. By the way, that that there is actually a callback line album that I was playing for you. It yep. actually, if if you're if you're trying to get learn better callback line, the the classic callback lines, mm -hmm. that's where you go. So, out of the movies that we talked about tonight, what is either one that you haven't seen that you're interested in seeing? And which ones do you, and do you agree would these make great Halloween movies? Seen them all. All great Halloween movies. I don't know why I'm looking at Cassie <laughs> like she knows that I'm looking at her. <laughs> hey, I'm directly, into, on you. directly into your eyes of your cat. <laughs> and went, My eyes that are even there. Oh, I'm looking at I'm, here, I'm looking in your eyes. Okay, can you see me, Cassie? Your turn. Okay. <laughs> All right, Amanda. What are we doing? <laughs> what movie would you be interested in watching? And do you think these all fall into could be really good Halloween movies? Um, I obviously want to see The Return to Oz. Yeah, but I love that you brought up Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory because I think that is underrated as like a creepy ass movie. Because too many people look at the service like, oh, it's candy, and this person is has you know they they're in competition. It's like, mm, no, <laughs> no, it's not it. <laughs> And it fits. I, I, I think personally, the ones that we picked make really good Halloween movies. Yes. Not only, not only all the time <laughs> movies, but they're great to put on for Halloween. Yes. Amazing well, to put on for Halloween. Now we should do the opposite. What are Halloween movies that should be played all the time? And I say this because my first initial thought was Adam's Family should not just be a Halloween movie. That should be played all the time. All right, Dad Man. What movie, <laughs> what movie interests you? Um... Well, boringly, though, it's, but, uh, the Willy Wonka. And I could see it being Halloween because of the candy aspect of it. Fifth gig. Yeah. Everything happened to everybody. Somebody uh, just screamed but it, but bloody murder last time I went But if I didn't take Jesus that one as the obvious one, if I didn't take that one as the obvious one, I mean, really, that's the one that jumps out to me that I want to see in theme of Halloween. That Return to Oz looks oddly weird. That it looks fun. Like, yeah, it looks it's fun. great. Fuel, you don't know, fuel. You don't know what creepy and scary mean compared to what normal people creepy and scary. Are. You don't get an <laughs> opinion. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So for me, all Look of these tiny movies, spider. It's barely the size of a bus. Obviously, for me, I've seen all of these movies. I mean, oh, obviously, yeah. I own all of these movies. <laughs> I just went through my DVD set and went, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Okay, that works. Uh, <laughs> the, the thought just popped in my head while I was at work today after going, I really need to get off of work early tomorrow so I can see the new ASA trailer drop. Um, <laughs> oh, by the way, if you don't know, tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the new ASA trailer's dropping. It is our first look at Ark Survival Ascended that's coming out this month. So you'll be able to torture yourself before you get it. Mm -hmm. But, <laughs> I mean, like, if I wanted to go back, I mean, obviously, I watch Labyrinth dance, magic, Bowie bulge dance all the time. <laughs> but Return to Oz, if you guys have not seen Return to Oz, Definitely check that one out. And Dad, I man, I do definitely, especially someone like you, because I know you've seen movies like Blazing Saddles, probably the original producers with uh, Gene Wilder. I'm sure you've seen a lot of Gene Wilder movies. Young Frankenstein. You, young Frankenstein. 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 Sure, and it's Igor. <laughs> <laughs> Walk this way. No, no, this way. Does your home keep moving? <laughs> Oh, beautiful. <laughs> which kind of go, which kind of goes into my theme for next week. We're going to talk about hilarious Halloween movies to watch and musicals. Because there's Halloween musicals out there. 
had to eat the cardboard again. Oh, man. Which I will discuss on how it really upsets me that Tim Curry looks better in that lingerie than I ever will. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Oh, it's story time by Fuel. Exactly. So, the orange bastard had a drug ring going on in the back rooms, and the songs were there to distract everyone. In the aftermath, those cunts sequenced kids never saw the light of day as they were shoved down the ass and mine for consequentist kids Phil we have we 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 have enough things in our childhood that will scar us for life watch I <laughs> could do this hey Dennis Dennis I'm paying here attention. Goes, here goes oh, there he is, Dennis. Hello. Hi. I can I can prove that we are scarred for life. Uh huh. Artex. One more time. You you blew it out. Artex. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> the fat he knew. He was blinking about this time down in the mines. <laughs> I mean, we, the, the, some of these movies have left scars right here and here. Oh God! Good movie. Uh, I mean, there's, there's, there's. No, know, every there's, now and then, every now, every now and then, one of these movies hits you with something you just can't go back to. Oh, that's one of them. I love the fact that Dennis knew straight off the bat that I was headed for it too. Oh he no, you're just like no, you it. said something sad. And you'd mentioned the never ending story on the dock, and I'm like, wait, no, no, you don't. No, that one's not fair. It's like, for sure. Oh, because that's just like oh because they explain because they explain to you what the swamp of sadness is, and then you're going through it, and then the horse just starts sinking, and it's like, no, 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 you can't. And it's gray, you yelling. Yeah. Oh, that's what makes it heartbreaking is him just like, no, you can't. Oh, God. You stupid horse. Well, it's more than sadness, right? Like, that's a deeper thing there. Dude. Yeah, that's some deep terror right there. That's some shit right there, man. It's like that one scene. You all know the scene from Misery. Oh, mm -hmm. God. Oh, I can't go, I can't go back. Things. When you can hear it without thinking of it, it's crazy. Oh, yeah. I can never go back. Kathy Bates, god damn, you earned that shit. <laughs> she's a genius. Okay, <laughs> Kathy Bates earns everything she's in. End of story. Yeah. She's but, amazing. But yeah, guys, there's, that's my list of 1980s dark horror fantasies Yep. that I feel are great <laughs> Halloween movies. And for us growing up, they were all family films. Fucking scarring. Return to Oz when all the heads just start screaming. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck me, man. Dennis. What? Read it. Out loud. Oh. And a tray you could never eat horse mutton again without thinking of that mug caked corpse. And if you want the most terrifying thing yeah. you'll ever see on AGP. That would be this that, guy right here. That'd be that. Mm -hmm. That'd be that. He's in shit. Australia. That'd be that. Ugh, but he gives great more. credence and in, in insight to when we have discussions about whether deer and kangaroo would fuck each other up. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> I, we're not even talking about the whole naming of kangaroos and horses that they are deers or whatever the hell that was in my discourse. <laughs> <laughs> I came I'm home, came I'm home sorry. and had all these missed messages going, what the hell? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm not. <laughs> not even a little bit. Not even kind of. What that was amazing. Hell? What the hell were you all doing while I was at work? <laughs> Talking about if horses and deer could fuck each other up. I know. What? <laughs> Kangaroo, okay. where are horses coming from? Kangaroo oh, and deer. Kangaroo, kangaroo and deer. deer. I'm convinced. You are the one I think that said, right? Like deer are just kangaroo that went to prison. But like, yes. I'm convinced that that is their version of our fucking deer. And they're. <laughs> yeah, but that's how it turned to if they could fuck each other up to now they're just boinking. Well, no, that was that was just fuel. I mean, he just sees things fighting and he thinks they're fucking because he's an angry person. I get it. It's fine. Hey, fuck. 
<laughs> it's like they're angry. Are they? Are they fucking? They must be. They're yelling at each other. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> the most disturbing thing I will ever know in my entire life is feel the hatred. Where'd Dad Man go? I'm we here. I'm there. just. I'm sitting <laughs> like <laughs> scared him so much that he there were no <laughs> words left for Dad yeah. Man. Yeah. I'm, Sounds I'm, like a you problem. Need to keep the reins on that place. I can foresee jail time for some of those involved. You know what, guys? Could you imagine being an Australian? Oh, my God. <laughs> I know an Australian. I can ask him. I was going to say, like, if you're foreseeing jail time in Australia, I got some strange news for you. Australia is a giant jail. <laughs> Yep. It was always a prison colony. Yep. yep. And now we know why he was there. Hmm. Yep. All right, guys. And they got beat by the emus. The emus won. Just remember, guys. <laughs> the great emu yes. wars. Yep. The emus won. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they won this round. They won we'll the back. whole round. Are you we'll, we'll be back. The bulls they wasted. Oh, my God. Emus are stupid crazy. <laughs> it, it. It. Yeah. <laughs> I would, I would totally go to Australia. Feel all seriousness, beautiful place. Song, but... <laughs> yep, yep. Oh, actually, no. I just saw the most disturbing thing ever. One month, oh. happy, happy one month, my love. Can't wait for so many more. Oh my god, gross. Um, hey, that oh, was so sweet. <laughs> but it's so sweet. Burn it with fire. I, I, you will have two less people to do your bidding. What? Why would you want that? Because <laughs> I can. But on that, West Australia is not the same as the rest of us. They have issues with issues. But, but feel you are the issue, honey. Anyway, as I'm trying to do my closing statement, I want to thank everybody for joining us. I Hi hope again. that we brought you. Hi. <laughs> we hope that we brought you some insight on some really great 1980s dark fantasy movies that you might want to watch this Halloween. And of course, as always, don't forget to check out my amazing crew from Cassie, who likes to laugh at me for being a jack in a box on roller coasters. To, <laughs> to nip Every time. Him, she the started nip off with that, Dennis. I start. She yeah. she brought up my first sign in, and I can't stop fucking laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so oh my god. Yeah, to nipple funny. boy who doesn't know how to put a picture on who you can catch over on YouTube as Rave. Yep. Raven master 96 uh -huh. rev and we're going to yep. say it my way because when he says it he's like rev, 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 rev. Um, <laughs> he sounds like he's I trying literally to get just started following him like last week because i had to slow him down on an old thing so i could hear it all because rev i think is what i kept getting messed up on i heard red so it's rave like <laughs> raven caca yeah. master which he's not one 96 uh. because he he's not good enough for a 69 with a rev at the end like you're revving an engine I can negate at least three of those statements you just said. I'm hey. saying. <laughs> my show, my me, my show, me boss, you hush, me do. <laughs> and of yeah. course, the yeah, slipperiest of us all, the dad yeah. man walking, you can catch on YouTube, right here on Twitch, and over on Twitter at dad man walking 55. That dad man walking 55. Not that dad man, and not that dad man who's misspelling it. Man. That dad man walking 55. Yep. But and without the that, it's just at Diamond Walkie. There's only one of us. So, and actually, tonight I'm at 494 subscribers. It's like holy crap. Nice. Crazy. It's just like it just it grows slowly. But thank you. Hey, but I would not be here without Ang, my kid, and the great Amanda, the host of yep. this channel. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, exactly. Who told me to get my own channel too to start streaming and everything else and. She's like, get off my fucking channel. Go get your own channel. Exactly. Kind of. But <laughs> Go no, do but your yes. own shit. <laughs> but, I, but I tell you, definitely great, Amanda. Thank you for all your help and always being able to come hang out with you as a friend and stuff because it's, it's always an awesome time here. Oh, yeah. right. I, I you know, you, you know, I never cease to amaze myself. A heart of gold. What can I say? Exactly. Uh, hey, Dennis, you ought to try kissing up sometimes every once in a while. It might help you. I already kissed up to one other person in this call. <laughs> yeah, but there, yeah, but once I the can't boss, fire you. She fires you a lot. Yeah, but there's <laughs> the boss, boss. You forgot Fizzy? <laughs> Fizzy. Fizzy. Who's the boss, boss? Kiss up Fizzy. <laughs> Who's... She is. You know she is. 
who demanded things to happen when the stream first started. It was Fizzgig. Who got her way? It was Fizzgig. Like <laughs> Fizzgig rules the show. Not, not Fizzy. <laughs> so that way to Fizzy. Back when she had blue eyes when I took pictures of her and not red demonic devil eyes. No, the camera knew. The camera was warning you and you didn't listen. Oh my god. You could have got her. I'm I'm working on a costume for her. I'm working on a costume for her as a since I have the Jurassic Park outfit, I want to make her a little velociraptor outfit. Oh, cool. I need to get the foam over to you. I saw that my shed. Mm, I need to go through all the videos from uh, King's Island. But since I was doing outros and everybody else got an outro, my outro, don't forget to check me out over on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Reddit, and of course, YouTube. Of course, as always, everybody, we do greatly appreciate you hanging out with us. We hope that you've enjoyed this, and we'll see you all on the next one. Say goodnight, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. everybody.